Remember, Jito comes at this whole problem from the point of view that not all agent actions need to be LLM tool calls. We kind of go back to the basics. Actions can be exposed to LLM tool calls, but they don't need to be. And we needed a primitive in the Elixir world that again tightly defined what an action is or what a, what a, you know. So we defined actions first, and it's a standardized format that really the one requirement is that it implements a run method that accepts two parameters, a map of parameters and a context map. And then those can be utilized within the action itself. There are ways to easily extend or convert, or so a couple other aspects that are not all required. There's a name. So when an LLM is trying to discover what actions are possible through a library of actions, let's say, you need a name and description that helps build the prompt. And then you need a schema that provides a way to limit the intake of what data you can send into those actions. And we extend and utilize nimble options for that. A lot of people have asked, you know, how does Ash tie into this? There's a lot of great tie-ins. The short answer is yes, there's a lot of fantastic tie-ins to Ash. We I just released in preview a Ash extension that allows and quickly facilitates taking all of your Ash actions and exposing those as Jito actions. So we're not going to test this today, but if you take a look at some of the test cases and what's built out in this package, you know, this ties the two together and there's more coming here.